Hello everyone, welcome to Covenant Kids. I'm Mrs. Jen and I'm going to be leading you in God's story for today. This is the last Sunday where we are going to be doing the May Remember verse, which is Psalm 29 verse 11. And it says, the Lord blesses his people with peace. Last time for the actions. Lord is your L at your shoulder going down to your waist. Blesses is your prayer hands, fist and sweep. And people is the two fingers upside down and going and walking together. The last one is peace. And that's where we cup our hands one way, then the other way and sweep that out again. Okay, for the last time, let's stand up and do that together. Are you ready? Okay. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Psalm 29, verse 11. Great job. Next week is going to be June, a whole new month and a whole new remember verse. So get prepared. Okay, I would like for you to prepare your head and heart and hands to listen and to watch God's story. Let's close our eyes and breathe in real deep. Ready? And in. And out. In and out. I think you're ready. Let's take a look at God's symbol for today. Here it is. Hmm, this is a different one, hey? What do you see here? We see some clouds and a person here. What could this be? Hmm, well, try to keep this picture in mind as you watch today's story video, and then you'll know what that means. Our first song for today is My God is So Big, and I bet you can do some of the actions too. All right, here we go. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do.
the miracle of mercy. Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up, and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. Welcome back. Let's take a look at that story symbol again. Here it is. Now, who is this person right here? If you guessed Paul, you are right. That's Paul. And that's when Jesus changes Paul so that he comes to know and love Jesus. I think we need to pray together. Let's get into the prayer posture that's comfortable for you so that you're not distracting others. And let's bow our heads and talk to God. Thank you, Jesus, for loving Paul. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Thank you, Jesus, for wanting to be friends with us, just like Paul. We love you and want to be friends with you too. Amen. Now is the time where you get to dig a little bit deeper into God's story with God's story card number 148. There's the front, there's the back. What color am I going to get today? I have gotten yellow. And yellow is respond. Make a chart of ways you have changed from a year ago. Changes in height, weight, skills, and even changes in your heart. You have changed a lot in the last year. You have gotten bigger, you have gotten stronger, and you've probably gained some new skills too. So let's make a list of everything that you have done. There's another easy extra on the website too that you can check out. Now, one last thing. I have a feeling that some of you have gotten one of these at home, right? We sent out some creation care worship kits with these grabbers in them. How much fun is that? How many of you have gone out to clean some garbage in God's creation? That's part of taking care of it. Now, if you go out and you pick up some garbage, make sure that you get your mom or dad or your aunt or uncle or somebody to take a picture of you. 
and have them send that to me. And then you'll be entered in a draw to win a gift card from Dairy Queen. That's ice cream. Mm. There's also a scavenger hunt list in that kit that you can check out too and look for all of the items and check them off your list. Isn't that fun? Okay, we've got one more song for you today that's called Jesus Loves Me. So stand up and sing. See you next week. Just love.